That's a trap. They spread their trap over him. He was taken in their pit. And they put him in war in chains and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into holes that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel going into captivity. From the Assyrians to the, from the Egyptians to the Assyrians to the Babylonians. And see, this is what is sad. Because we didn't listen. He said he's going to do it. You don't listen to me? I'm going to give you to a no people. And I'm going to give you to a foolish nation. That's what we are to now, a foolish nation. And no people of these other nations outside from the Edomite nation. And we've been in captivity. They all have had us in captivity. One way or another. We were there. Look at uh, Matthew 10. Five and six. These twelve, these twelve apostles, Mashiach Abishai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Say, don't go to the other nations outside of the twelve tribes of Israel. And into and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. See, so don't go to northern Israel, wherever the Samaritans were. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's clear. He said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For who? For the children of Israel. So that's the message that we're supposed to be talking about. The kingdom of heaven is coming to Israel. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you see, this, he told them not to go to the Gentiles. And they weren't prepared, prepared to even go to the Gentiles that were Israelites. The foreigner called the foreigners, the uncircumcised, and so forth. Because they was looking at, okay, well, we have all this information. It's like people now. They'd be like, we got all this information, and the rest of y'all don't mean nothing when we got to gather the children of Israel together. Because one time or another, you didn't know what you know now. We know in part and prophesy. That's why Mashiach Abishai was friends of publicans and sinners. So if he was friends of publicans and sinners, what do you think he was doing to those publicans and sinners of Israel? Converting them so they can know the truth and come out of their lives. Proverbs 22. That's the problem with us. We've been following the way and been programmed by our oppressors and now we don't really know how to come out of it. Proverbs 22 to 24 says, make no friendship with any man, any angry man. And with the furious man, thou shalt not go. Hear that? Say, make no friendship with an angry man. <laughs> and with the furious man, thou shalt not go. Lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Lest you learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Okay? And what do we do? We did we do what the most I said? I mean, we get an understanding through every scripture. What do we do? Psalms 106 and 35. But we're mingled among the heathen and learned their works. He said what? 
In Psalms 22, 24, make no friendship with an angry man. And with a furious man, thou shalt not go. So we supposed to make no friendship with no angry man, and with a furious man, thou shalt not go. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. But what do we do? Let me go to Jeremiah 10 and 2. That's what he told Israel. He said, Thus said the Most High, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not displayed at the signs of heaven. But mainly I'm looking at, Learn not the way of the heathen, right? So look, Psalms 106, 35, But were mingled among the heathen, and learned their works. And they served their idols, which was a snare unto them. Trap. That's how we all trapped up. Because we serve in the idols of the heathen. Yeah, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils to this day. Deceitful, evil people. He said, make no friendship with an angry man. And most certainly not with a furious man. Because you learn his ways. And our children are being sacrificed. You know, they have certain uh, rules and regulations, I might say. Since you got to follow the law of the land, you can't have the Bible in the school at all. You can't read it. You can't bring it there. You can't pray. You can't do nothing. But the devil there, that's why I said, sacrifice their sons and their daughters and the devils. The devil's there. Evolution's there. Some schools teach Islam. Teach about Buddha. Can't have that Bible there, though. Verse 39, thus they were defiled with their own works and with their own and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the most high killed against his people, insomuch that he abhorred, he hated his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them. And they were brought into subjection under their hand. See, many times Mosiah said, did he deliver us? Deliver them. But they provoked him with their counsel. What they would, Mosiah hear everything. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He heard what we were saying and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, when he heard us crying to him. See, ain't nothing happened to us to the extent where we're going to start crying because he ain't probably ain't killed enough for us yet. That's what get our, he get our attention, really. As you see death, no matter who it is, and I'm sad that, you know, these deaths are happening, but at the same time, that's what he had done to get our hero our cry. And we start crying to him. Verse 45, and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Most High, our power, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Most High. See? You see, in our affliction, we're going to see come early. But we're not, he haven't brought us down low enough to start, everybody start crying to him. But it's going to happen. That's the only time that he ever released us from our captives. No other way. No other way. Deuteronomy 28. 49. Deuteronomy 28. 
15 all the way to 68 of nothing but curses that befell us as a people. You run me 28 and 49. The Most High shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. That's a symbol, a, a, a clue, a sign that is given us. That this nation from far, that eagle would be a symbol. Swift as the eagle fly, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. None of us understood their different languages. English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, all these different languages that they had, a language that we wouldn't understand. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of old, they will regard old people, nor show favor to the young. See that right now. That's why when you go to Ezekiel, seventh chapter, see our people don't know who we really under. But the scriptures tell you. That's why he said, don't make no pressure with no angry man, no furious man. This is what he said. Second, uh, I mean, Ezekiel 7 and 24. Ezekiel 7 and 24. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen. This is who you're making friends with. The worst of the heathen. And they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong the seats, and their holy places shall be defiled. Because we ain't listening to the Most High. So he brought the worst of the heathen. Hear that? The worst of the heathen. And they shall possess their houses. They possess in our houses, North Central and South America, the Caribbean Islands, everywhere we were at, in the land of Israel. Destruction cometh, he said, warning us. He already told us what he's going to do. He said, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. See? We want peace. No justice, no peace. You got to no peace. There ain't no justice, and you still don't have peace. And you, ain't, you making sure that you do whatever you do against yourself, Ain't nothing you do it against the enemy. You just hurt yourself. Mischief shall come upon mischief. Even though you're trying to do something right, you got mischief all amongst you. Because you got evildoers among us. Always trying to come up. Always trying to get over. But the condition that you're in some of you can't help but to do what you do because of the way the system is set up. Remember he said, the worst of the heathen over us. So you learn the ways of the worst of the heathen. Your mind has been Edomanized, straight up. You trying to do what he's doing. You can't do what he do. This is his kingdom. You ain't going to never, nobody ever going to get that out. You see all these accusations they bringing out on Bill Cosby? You see what happened to Jesse Jackson when he went to visit Bill Clinton? When uh, Monica was uh, taking care of business with him? He went to the White House. After that, he ain't never been the same. When they busted him about him having uh, another child outside of his marriage, things ain't never been the same. That's how they do it. Mischief shall come upon mischief. Verse 26. And rumor shall be upon rumor. People running in their mouth about this, that, and the third. I mean, especially you look at the news, man. Come on. Our people believe in the news. And they're giving you what they want to give you. It's like all this stuff is happening right now, but it's something else happening. Believe me. It's something else happening. That's just diversion. All these things that they're doing, you know. Rumor upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. But the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. 
Yeah. That's what they're telling you ain't under the law. It's already written. Gone from our major, like y'all have mega churches here in America. They ain't dealing with the laws of the most high. They talk about those children of Israel. They sit up there being an Israelite themselves. But they really Edomanized. They really are Edomite. In the spirit, they don't have the spirit of the Most High else they know that they were Israelites and be telling our people that we are Israel. We the people of the book. They would be part of all the trillion dollars of however much they spend. We spend a trillion dollars so they, it ain't no big deal that they can spend that much to keep us in ignorance. You look at all the money that it takes to go to college and go to these schools instead of all these schools. All that money is going into keeping you dumb down that you don't know who you are so you can work to be a good slave come out of there and be a good slave think about how the world would be if we had schools to show our children how to grow up to be entrepreneur have their own corporations they have our own businesses I've seen someone ask you know where is our grocery store one grocery store that we own and, and have a chain of grocery stores. Well, nothing. Because the most I said it's going to be just how he would have it be. No matter how he does it, you don't question it. But you know what's going to get done. <laughs> you know he's going to make sure it gets done. It's just a matter of where you're at. Where you're going to be at. That's why he said, going back to Deuteronomy 28. How's it working for you? Deuteronomy 28 and 50. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. That's what he said. He told us it's going to happen to us. Verse 15. But if it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken, you don't want to listen unto the voice of the most high thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statute which he, I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's what he told us. These curses are going to come upon us. Amos 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 7. So that's what we under, brothers and sisters. It's just a matter of how you're going to operate, come out of them with the spiritual power the most eyes and dial us with. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the most high will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants the prophets so it says he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets so who are servants Isaiah 44 1 Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel whom I have chosen. So his servant had to be an Israelite. Verse 21, Isaiah 44 and 21. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. See? I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. We just got to remember and do the right thing so that you don't blaspheme. And most I talk about he's, those that's not going to be forgotten is a, a one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. So he's sure his secrets are to his servants, the prophets, the children of Israel, men of Israel. Daniel's 12. 
and verse 4. Daniel's 12 and 4. That's why we have to have our minds open to receive the Holy Spirit. And not be can't be caught up on yourself and thinking that you're all that. Mosiah is all that. <laughs> but man thinking that he's all that, no. Mosiah is all that. Daniel's 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. See? The book is being opened. People don't want to take heed to it being opened so that you can really receive the blessing and the spiritual power to come out of this darkness, the gross darkness, the gross ignorance that the people in. Take time. You got to put time here in this work. Some people just like, oh, it's just, it's just a hangout. It's just like something to do. It's not as serious. You ain't trying to build on nobody but yourself. You're trying to, you're just like a Christian. You're trying to make sure that you make it to the kingdom. We supposed to be looking out for everybody else. What if Hamashiach Abishai thought about talk like that? He wouldn't even came here and died for us. What if all the prophets thought like this? We read the bottom now. What if all the apostles felt like that? We wouldn't have anything to go by. And most of everyone you read about murdered for the sake of the truth. Colossians 1.26 Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, something that's not known, it's been hid from ages and from generations, but now was made manifest to his saints. Right now, it's being manifest to his saints. Who are the saints? Psalms 50 and 5. See, these mysteries are being manifest to his saints. Who are the saints? Psalms 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant or a contract or agreement with me by sacrifice. So we're looking at who are the saints. He said, gather my saints together unto me. So we're going to be gathering unto the most high through a Mashiach El Shah. Those that have made a covenant or a contract or agreement with the Most High by sacrifice. Now, last I seen, only people that sacrificed animals for atonement of sins were Israelites. Other nations didn't do that.